What's going on people, it's Greg here with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to auto filter data and copy it underneath existing data. So I have a list of regions here, a um, list of countries. What we're going to do is filter by region, copy that region's data over to sheet 2, and then continue to do it for whatever region we choose. So it'll be region after region after region and so on, depending on how many times you want to copy it over. I will use this cell here for reference. So whatever cell I have here, whatever region I have in this cell, is what we're going to use the filter. Uh, let me go ahead and create a list. So I copy this to sheet three, and then let me go ahead and trim it as well, in case there's any extra spaces. I'll copy, paste values, then I'm going to delete this column, and now I'll choose this column and then go to data, and then remove duplicates okay so now I'm down to this here I'm gonna delete these two rows I don't need these so now this list is contains all of the regions in that data so now what I'm gonna do now is go here to cell F2 go back to the data tab and then I wanna click data validation and then allow a list and the source is going to be this. Press enter. Okay. So now I have a list of regions to choose from. All right. So for the sub, let's call this sub copy data under data. And we'll declare our variables. So we're going to count. The columns so we're going to count the columns here we're also going to count the rows as well so I'll do that let's call it integer I also want to check to make sure that this sheet is blank whenever I'm copying something over here so I need to account for this this header I don't want to count, copy this header over every single time, just once. So I'm going to have a, a variable called check header. All right. And then I'm going to declare my worksheets. So I'm mainly working with two worksheets, sheet one and sheet two. I'll call the first one or, uh, original, short for original. So this will be orig or short for original. Um, then output, which is sheet, sheet two, it's what my output's going to be. All right, so I'll set orig equal to sheet one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this name here so that this can be called anything. So I can change this to whatever I want. So I can call this raw data. Uh, I can call this filter data but I'm referencing the, the sheet one so even though this is called raw data I'm still referencing sheet one so it won't matter what I call this the sheet it'll it'll still work so that's gonna be that then output is gonna be sheet two so now Output, I want to activate that. So I want to activate sheet two and then check to see if there's a header there. So by doing this, I'm going to actually count any data going down from the top in column A. So then I'm counting down. All right. So let me add a comment. So this counts the number of rows of data 
on sheet two. All right. Now, I want to go back to this original tab, so I'm going to activate this tab. So Orridge activate, and I want to count the number of columns going to the right, and I want to count the number of rows going down just so I know how much data I have to work with. So it's literally going to be the same function here, except for the columns. I'm going to be counting to the right. So this should be Excel to right. And then for my rows, it's literally the same thing as the check header. Oh, I spelled that wrong. All right. So we'll comment here. So this counts the number of rows and columns of data on sheet one. All right. So now I'm going to filter the data. So on my active sheet, which at this point is sheet one, I'm going to use range. And my range starts here at A4. And I'm going to auto filter. Yikes. OK. Field two. I want to, this is fill two. I want to auto fill to the region. And my criteria is going to be, so criteria one is going to be cells down to over six, this cell here. So down to over six. And I want that value there. All right. Did something wrong. Missing what equal sign? Yep, equal sign. Yep. All right. So comment filters data on sheet one based on region and F two. This cell here. All right. So now I need to know where to start when I copy this data over. So I can't always copy this header over here because it'll look crazy if I stack those headers on top of each other. So I need to know when I need to start here or start here. So let me add another variable and I'll call it position. Let's shorten it so POS. All right. So POS at this point is going to equal to four. But if my check header, which is based on what's on this page, if, if this check header is not equal to zero, then I don't want the header. So I want, I want my POS to equal five if it's not if the check header, if there's no date on this on this tab, I want. Sorry, if there's no date on on that on this tab, I want to take this header. The header's over, right? But there is data. I, I want to start here. So, if check header is greater than zero, then POS equals five. So if it's greater than zero, I don't want the headers over there. So I can say this determines if header should be included or not. Now to the good part, I want to copy this data over. So I'm going to start off with my first sheet, the original sheet, and I want to take the range and then cells. My, I want my position, so my POS. So I want to go down either four or five, and then over one. So I'm staying here. 
I'm, my position is going to be down four or five, and then in this same column, so one. And then cells just going to be the furthest to the right, and then the furthest down, which we captured here with our count column and count rows. So count row, so furthest down, and then count column, furthest to the right. All right. And let me go ahead and continue this on to the next line. I think I'm going to run out of space. So I'm going to do underscore to continue this line. So now I want to do special cells, XL cell type visible so I only want to copy the visible cells after I filter the data and then I want to paste this to my output which is the filter data tab so I need to do cells and then I want to go down to whatever the check header number is plus one. So if there's nothing here, check header is going to be equal to zero. So one will give me this position. If I have data coming down at this point, my check header is going to be equal to 14. I want to start at 15. So I want check header plus one in every, in every case. So I'll do check header plus one. And then I'm starting in this column. So one is my other position. And then I'm just going to paste that. So I want to do a paste special. And I just want to paste the values. So XL paste values. So then I'll just go ahead and turn off the cut copy mode. So make that equal to false. And then this data is going to be filtered. So I'm going to take the filter off so what that what you have to do is a ridge which references sheet one raw data all the same thing I'm going to show all data and then uh, auto filter mode make that false and then I'm going to activate this sheet so that when the macro is done you'll see whatever the output is and then say the cursor is over here somewhere I'll just go ahead and make it select this cell here so I want to make sure that this is the cell that's selected whenever it comes back to this tab so I'll just do A1. And then that should do it. All right, so let's, cite, let's see it work. So, all right, Sub-Saharan Africa's chosen already, so let's go ahead and run it with that. Got an error. Spelled auto filter wrong, of course. All right, try it again. Boom, there you go. So now I can change this. Boom, look at that. So you don't you don't see the, the headers going across again. It goes straight from Sub-Saharan Africa to Latin America. Then we can keep going. Boom, right underneath each other, one after the other. So say you wanna like clean this all up, right? Um, we can do a sub called clear data. And just quickly just reference sheet two cells clear contents and then yeah let's do that so if I run it and go here it's all blank now but I can do what I did here I can just activate sheet two activate so that it opens that sheet after it's all said and done.
So I run this one, got that there. Now if I run this and I'm on this tab, it'll clear the data and then end on that tab. You can even add some buttons here. Let's do what happens when I put in clean. Oh, I can use this here. Assign macro, clear data, and then we could do another one, insert illustration icon. Let's do what filter or let's do a copy, copy. Let's do that. We can assign the other macro to this one. So now, easy access. I can just clean the data there, add more data to it. So this gives you more freedom to add multiple regions, one after the other, in whatever order you want. And then whenever you feel like it, you can just go ahead and clear it all. So yeah, that's all I had. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Have a good one.